This evening, one major political party may be absent from the local government elections 2023 unless the voters' list is clean. Government promotes road safety by removing abandoned vehicles from roadways. Rams Logistics wins local content case, government contemplating appeal. In the region, Mexico protests, thousands oppose electoral reform plan, and internationally, Kyrgyzstan destruction, Ukrainians assessing damage left behind. Welcome to another broadcast of Channel 2's Headline News Updates. I am Bibi Bacchus. Thank you for joining us. Two teenagers are now homeless after their home at Semple Street Sheet Anchor East Kanji Burbies was destroyed by a fire on Saturday, November 12, 2022. 19-year-old Keisha Reed and her 18-year-old sister lived alone since losing their mother four years ago. The older siblings said their home was destroyed completely by the fire Saturday night while they were out of the region. While the origin of the fire is unknown, Reed suspects that the fire may be an act of arson, but said she has no issues with anyone. Reed said on Saturday she and her sister left after securing their home to attend the birthday celebration of their other sibling that lives in Demerara. She added that while there, she got a call around 7.30 p.m. to inform her that their home was on fire. The young woman said she suspects someone went into the house because the lock was tampered with and the gate because the firefighters said when they arrived, the gate was already broken, she added. The teens who lost everything in the blaze are pleading for assistance to help get them back to some sort of normalcy during this difficult time. Persons willing to assist can contact the sisters on the numbers on the screen. Local government elections set for March 2023 may see one major political party withdraw from the democratic process unless the existing voters list is purged. The Alliance for Change party made this announcement via a press statement on Sunday that it has reached an agreement of non-participation after much deliberation, alleging that the existing voters list is bloated, illegitimate and a source of election fraud and should be cleaned. The statement then went on to lament that the current list contains the names of deceased, immigrants and duplicates, citing the same list was used in the 2020 national elections, which resulted in several instances of dead, immigrants, and a slew of other mischiefs, which, according to the party, hampered the electoral process. The political party feels that competing in upcoming elections with a list demonstrated to be defected and rife with inconsistencies would be a fraud on the Guyanese people and weaken our democratic system. Requests for a clean voters list before the local government elections hosting have been rejected by both the administration and GCOM. The government, in an ongoing effort to promote road safety and improve traffic flow, is moving ahead with the removal of derelict vehicles from along the roadways. This is part of the countrywide campaign that started in June this year. Public Works Minister Bishop Juan Edgehill, as part of the National Enhancement Exercise on Saturday, visited the community of Cummins Lodge, where he witnessed the removal of several derelict vehicles lining the thoroughfare. The campaign is in accordance with Section 29 of the Road Act. The campaign is in accordance with the Seizure and Disposal of Property Obstructing Road Act. The Public Works Ministry usually gives notice to the owners of these derelict vehicles to have them removed immediately or within the next 24 hours or by the Ministry's cleanup team. With the latter choice, the Ministry is not responsible for any damage or loss. The derelict vehicles are disposed of at the Ministry's derelict dump site in Laluni. The dump site can be accessed from the Kurukururu Suicide Linden Highway entrance. Stick around after the break. Rams Logistics wins local content case, government contemplating appeal, and smart hospitals to be officially reopened soon for Parmakatoy Mabarumo residents.
give your home or office some shine. Fortune Investment Company. We provide reliable commercial and residential professional cleaning services in Guyana. We clean homes and commercial offices. Other services offered are floor care and tile polishing, interior auto detailing services, power washing, weeding and cleaning, and carpet, couch, and mattress cleaning. We are committed to keeping your homes and offices squeaky clean. Call us now at 592-689-7558 or 592-639-6365 or visit us at 3430 Jackson, North Rumville, Georgetown, Guyana. Fortune Investment Company. When we say clean, we mean spotless. problem granny? I want money for bar for do a surgery. I was dancing and I fall and fracture my hip. If you need some quick money, you should check Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop. Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop, lot 238 South Road, Border, Georgetown. Get jewelry made to order in just 72 hours. We also accept vehicles. Lenders, best rates, longest payback period. Boys, I get through. Plus, I could dance again. <laughs> Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop! Sooner or later you will have another power failure. Are you prepared for the next blackout? Some essential equipment such as security cameras, lights, internet, gate motors, and water pumps may stop working. How can you prevent the next blackout? InverterTech has an affordable solution for you. A strong UPS system which uses the latest inverter and solar battery technology to prevent blackout. We smartly calculate your average power demand so you don't spend more than you need to. Call 223-2233 for more information. When you need money, and you gotta get it fast, Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop is the place for that confidential transaction in a quiet and secure location. You'll get the highest value per penny weight for your gold, and also enjoy the lowest interest rates and longest payback period too. Yes, for that instant transaction to solve a pressing financial problem. That Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, 46 Boyle Place, that's between the Ministry of Housing on Brick Dam and White Castle Fish Shop, be your first and only choice. Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, safe and sound, solid and secure, always there for you. Telephone 231 7878 and 223 8955. Welcome back. Rams Logistics Ghana Incorporated, one of the first companies that applied for the local content certificate following the activation of the local content legislation, was issued a certificate by the local content secretariat earlier today. Following the local content legislation earlier this year, the company's first application was denied and when the company reapplied, it never received a response to its application, forcing the decision to move to the court for a judicial review. On Friday, Acting Chief Justice Roxanne George ordered the local content secretariat to issue the certificate to the company by noon today. Following the issuance of the certificate, the Ministry of Natural Resources issued a statement saying that the Ministry and by extension the Government of Guyana has taken note of the recent ruling by the Chief Justice in the Rams Logistics Guyana Incorporated Judicial Review for the local content certification. The Government of Guyana respects the rule of law and the independence of the judiciary and therefore will comply with the ruling. The statement went on to say, however, there are strong concerns by the Ministry of Natural Resources as to the eligibility of this particular application for local content certification. And as such, the Government of Guyana is currently exploring all available options, including an appeal of the ruling. The Government of Guyana also noted the recent settlement by the company and the Guyana Revenue Authority on the matter of tax evasion and also the ongoing litigations in 10 false tax declarations to the GRE. The local content secretariat will continue to act in a professional manner and defend the people of Guyana consistent with the Local Content Act, the statement went on to say. 
residents in Paramakatoy and surrounding communities will soon benefit from an upgraded smart health facility in Region 8 under the Smart Hospitals Initiative. On Friday, Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony disclosed that the health facilities at Paramakatoy and Mabaruma will be officially reopened soon. Despite encountering some setbacks, including the challenges of transporting building materials to the site, work is moving apace to complete the Paramakatoy facility. The $44.4 million construction was undertaken by the Ghana Defense Force. They have assured me that they have maybe about a month, month and a half more for completion. So once that is completed, then all the facilities that we have worked on over the last maybe year and a half uh, would be completed. So we look forward to opening Paramakatai very soon as well. Meanwhile, Dr. Anthony disclosed that the smart hospital at Mabaruma has been completed and a date will be set for the official reopening shortly. The smart hospital was among five hospitals slated for an upgrade through the smart health care facilities in the Caribbean project, a collaboration between the government of Guyana and the United Kingdom. The Pan American Health Organization and the World Health Organization supervised the project's construction phase. The Diamond, Letem, and Leonora hospitals have already undergone renovations. The Smart Hospital concept refers to a medical institution that offers efficient and up-to-date medical services while also being climate resilient. Don't go away after the break. Mexico protests, thousands oppose electoral reform plan, and Kyrgyzstan destruction, Ukrainians assessing damage left behind. When you need money, and you've got to get it fast. Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop is the place for that confidential transaction in a quiet and secure location. You'll get the highest value per penny weight for your gold, and also enjoy the lowest interest rates and longest payback period too. Yes, for that instant transaction to solve a pressing financial problem. That Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, 46 Boyle Place, that's between the Ministry of Housing on Brick Dam and White Castle Fish Shop, be your first and only choice. Creative Jewelry and Pawn Shop, safe and sound, solid and secure, always there for you. Telephone 231-7878 and 223-8955. Sooner or later you will have another power failure. Are you prepared for the next blackout? Some essential equipment such as security cameras, lights, internet, gate motors, and water pumps may stop working. How can you prevent the next blackout? InverterTech has an affordable solution for you. A strong UPS system which uses the latest inverter and solar battery technology to prevent blackout. We smartly calculate your average power demand so you don't spend more than you need to. Call 223-2233 for more information. Good, good girl forget things. Oh, Who's the problem, Granny? I want money for bar for those soldiers. I was dancing and I fall and fracture my hip. If you need some quick money, you should check Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop. Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop, lot 238 South Road Border, Georgetown. Get jewelry made to order in just 72 hours. We also accept vehicles. Lenders, best rates, longest payback period. Boys, I get through. Plus, I could dance again. <laughs> Lenders Jewelry and Pawn Shop. Give your home or office some shine. Fortune Investment Company. We provide reliable, commercial and residential, professional cleaning services in Guyana. We clean homes and commercial offices. Other services offered are floor care and tile polishing, interior auto detailing services, power washing, weeding and cleaning, and carpet, couch, and mattress cleaning. We are committed to keeping your homes and offices squeaky clean. Call us now at 592-689-7558 or 592-639-6365 or visit us at 3430 Jackson, North Rumville, Georgetown, Guyana. Fortune Investment Company. When we say clean, we mean spotless. Hey, hey, this is your fancy vehicle and car is your house? Yes, this is my vehicle and actually yeah. I'm waiting on my land. I'm actually renting this house for $50,000. $50,000? You help more? You crazy? You mad? You help me good? Why get the pile? Look, let me show you the light. Come with me. Come on down to Fabulous Homes today. Pay fifty thousand every month for thirty-six months, or until you reach fifty percent of your house costs. Move in after seventy-five percent of the cost has been paid. This is wonderful. Let's go. 
Thank you. All right, let me go and dash away your landlord. To explore our home ownership program, check our Facebook page for more information or come down to our office at Avalon Friendship. Actually, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. You got through? Yes. Call us at 227-1380 or 615-8740. Fabulous Homes International Realty. Changing tenants into homeowners. At Fabulous Homes, we bring your dreams to life. Welcome back. Now let's take a look at what's happening in the region and around the world. Tens of thousands of people in Mexico have protested against government plan to overhaul the country's electoral authority, Al Jazeera's Manuel Rafale reports. Thousands on the streets of the Mexican capital. Mexico! It's one of the largest pro-democracy demonstrations in years. Today we all come together because we want to defend democracy. Protests against a proposed change to the country's electoral system took place in more than a dozen Mexican cities. Critics say the changes threaten the independence of Mexico's National Electoral Institute, or INE, which oversees federal elections. Many people are worried about the path our democracy is taking. We are worried if our country is uh, going to end up as other countries like Venezuela. Mexico. The protest in Mexico City was the largest to date against the electoral reforms. The changes being proposed by Mexico's president are part of a broad set of reforms that encompass everything from the implementation of electronic voting machines to a reduction in the number of seats in Mexico's Congress. Critics, however, say that under the surface, the proposed reforms have the potential to undermine democratic institutions in Mexico. For his part, President Andrés Manuel López Obrador says his reform is aimed at reducing election costs and increasing transparency, and says the protests are fueled by his political opponents. People should not be fooled. They should know that this march is a demonstration against our government because of our policies. While some warn the proposed reform puts too much power in the hands of federal government, constitutional experts say the country would benefit from certain changes, so long as the plans are discussed openly within Mexico's Congress. From my point of view, as long as the reform is debated in legislative space with participation from the public, the integrity of the INE and National Electoral Institute is not in danger. In fact, the INE has been modified in the past, just as life in Mexico has also been modified over time. Though presidential elections in Mexico are still two years away, political observers say the latest demonstrations are evidence of growing political polarization, with many in the country seeing the next elections as a battle over the future of Mexican democracy. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera, Mexico City. The humanitarian situation in Kyrgyzstan's regional capital is being described as very difficult following Russia's withdrawal. Utility companies are racing to restore power and water after vital infrastructure was destroyed by Moscow's forces as they retreated Al Jazeera's Assis Bay reports. This is what the Russians left behind. Destroyed military equipment. <laughs> the Ukrainians are continuing to raise their national flags as they retake more villages in the Kherson region. Ukrainians lived under occupation for eight months. We couldn't say a word here. Four cars came and they told us it is because of your pro-Ukrainian position. I said, you can shoot us down because we are Ukrainians. We couldn't say a word. We couldn't say, glory to Ukraine. <laughs> when the Ukrainian military rolled in, the joy of people here was clear. <laughs> Soldiers treated like celebrities. And this is how people hid their acts of resistance. But the damage left behind is immense. So too the needs of those living here. Authorities are working to restore electricity and water. But Kherson and the rest of the country are within striking distance of Russian missiles and drones. Cities like Mykolaiv bear the scars of this war. This building behind me was hit on Friday and it resulted in seven people killed. It just goes to show that although Russian forces have withdrawn from Kherson, they're still able to hit targets across Ukraine with deadly consequences. Asad Beg, 
Al Jazeera, Mikhailayev. And that is it for today's regional and international news. Here are your three weather forecasts. for this edition of Channel 2's Headline News Update. Tune in on Tuesday at 7 p.m. for another episode. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us on Facebook and YouTube. Until then, please take care of yourself and each other.